It's that time again. We've got some Mantis Mail. Yeah. Hello everybody. So we've been sent a Mantis package today and it's from Jumping Spiders Web. Now, uh, Jumping Spiders Web is run by Paul, Tracy and Stevie. And what's happened is they have um, had many breeding programs, including stick and sex. Um, I think they've done some um, dart frog stuff like that. And they've started doing praying mantises as well, which a lot of companies are doing now. Some praying mantis companies are selling other stuff just than praying mantises, which is great. And what we've got here is a Creobrota species. Um, it, I think the pronunciation is it for it is Ubanus. I've not actually seen this one before, it's actually confused me a bit. I've had my boots out, I've been looking on the internet, but it is a flower species similar to one I've had before, so I'm sure the needs will be pretty similar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this lovely box up and have a little look at it and go from there. <laughs> so here is the package we've had and we're just going to open it up. I have blocked out obviously my address here. We all know the reasons for that. So let's just have a little open of this. My hands aren't as steady today. And then I'm trying to work from a different angle around the camera instead of putting it up on the desk today. So it has come nicely packaged. So let's just have a little look. And she's just in there down the corner. Just as you can see just there, she, I say she, could be a he, and yeah, I would say it was about an L2, L3, it's a guess, very pretty, we'll get it out and have a look on some of the lenses, now, I have been looking for this actual species, the flower species itself, I have had a few of them, and referring to some of my boots which I do get out, which this is a great boot that anybody should get, and we have found them, and they're in here. So they are obviously the flower mantis, the Creobrota species and they're actually on this page here but there isn't much information about them because there is actually 20 species from um, Asia. So what we'll be doing is keeping it similar to the other ones I've kept and with these I've found that they do with most species need cross ventilation so they need, need ventilation at the sides and the top um, just to stop any bacteria um, getting in the air obviously with the humidity and that and it seems to have been successful myself with one of our flower species so what we do is we're going to pop in a temporary enclosure just for today and we'll put a little vent on one of the sides of maybe the 16 or the 32 ounce deli cups and we'll get the lenses out and have a little look so let's go from there
Hi folks, so we're back after that, so I will pop the description of the name in there and it's the first part you're looking pop of the species for the flower mantis. There is about 20 of these from Asia, so this one did baffle me because it looks very similar to that, so we had a look through the books and then, yeah, the care needs are going to be pretty much the same in my opinion. Now, uh, the success I had with them last time was keeping them about 25 to 26 degrees Celsius and spraying about three to four times a week, but that base is I am using enclosures like a 16 ounce and 32 ounce deli cups that I have got her in this at the moment and I will be popping the bung out of this for let some air in and the other one I've just been doing in the outbuilding gear point of venting waiting for that to dry and then what happens is you want a good circulation of air with any mantis and particularly any which have like a medium to high humidity so the air gets in and comes out and it's similar in spider species as well cross ventilation and going up um, so yeah, keeping about 25 26 degrees Celsius, I'm going to be spraying here about three to four times a week. I have zoomed in, have a little look for check because it's a sheet, pretty sure. I will do updates on her when she moves into her next enclosure. Now, what I would say regarding the book I brought earlier, which I've put down somewhere, oh, it's here. A great book to buy, I would advise any mantis keep you know anybody who's starting out or medium to advanced to get this it's got some great information and in um, quite a lot of species in there um, with how to house them how to keep them temperature wise the humidity there is some that aren't in there but that's because the you know the keepers are at it's, it's ever growing it's getting bigger now there's different um, species which probably weren't accessible when this book came out and but it has got some really good information and in, so i'll pop the description into the name of that i picked this up off ebay it's about 20 25 pounds but it is like the holy grail so it's something you need to get out of now i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe I'm noticing not a lot of subscribers, no pressure. I'll keep doing this till you subscribe. Any case, folks, thanks for watching. Peace out. Catch you in the next video.